All right. So um, there's something really sort of tragic about this, right? Um, because uh, what we see is that um, is that both of these countries end up uh, in a position that is like less good <laughs> than they could be in if they found some way of coordinating, right? And in particular, we can come back to this, um, the Pareto concept, because here, uh, oops, Pareto. Um, uh, the, the Pareto efficient point is, is um, this one. Right, that's the place where uh, nobody could be made better off without making anybody else worse off. Like here, moving in this direction um, from the Nash equilibrium uh, to that top left-hand qu quadrant is a um, is a Pareto improvement. Uh, you know, um, both of them are made better off without making anybody else worse off. Uh, so um, this uh, Nash equilibrium circumstance is a real um, is is a, a real consequence of um, situations like this where um, where there's interdependent behavior uh, but where there's not a lot of trust. I mean honestly that's that's part of what makes the prisoner's dilemma sort of setting such a um, uh, such an intuitive one for this kind of thing, because you can imagine criminals maybe not trusting each other a ton. Um, but, uh, you know, trust is not a guarantee out in the world in the, in the circumstance that, that I've used to, to sort of motivate this more in, in the global climate change circumstance, um, both because there's big aggregate actors. And so, uh, even if, um, if I, uh, trust a number of my, you know, uh, classmates of Chinese ancestry, um, both of us would need to sort of go back and, and manipulate the political apparatus of our mutual countries. And there might not be sort of an automatic, like, yeah, we can, we can get to that Pareto optimal point. Um, and same thing goes for, for, uh, generational struggles, especially when, um, scarcity has sort of uh, eroded and, and built a lot of conflict, um, these kinds of non-cooperative uh, strategic game kind of settings um, are, are uh, unfortunately some of the context in, in, in which we operate. Game theory actually grew up <laughs> around um, and, and has been applied extensively to a, a past, <laughs> it's like the existential global crisis of my parents' generation, the Cold War, uh, nuclear deterrence kind of uh, thinking uh, has used game theory concepts a lot. Um, so that's the the third sort of fundamental concept is this like uh, strategic interaction to act on climate change um, and uh, the kinds of situations uh, that, that like this prisoner's dilemma situation that define um, what the challenge is uh, in, in, in the global commons, in the atmospheric commons.